Okay, number 16, expand to at least five, five terms. Um, I'm doing this by equating coefficients. You can do it by long division, of course. It's fine. We just did two prior problems with long division. I'm uh, doing this one over here. You know, I wrote something down so it look awful strange. Well, there's a point to it. And the point to it is I want to just write down, I believe it's going to expand looking like this. And I'm going to get my little red pen out. And I'll tell you why it looks strange to some students. Because I'm starting with uh, this thing over here. Normally, I start with a constant like A. All right? But I think you probably know if I did a long division, I certainly would be leading with an x to the minus 3 to get that 1. All right? And the A, and the a is pretty, uh, I'm sorry, the A is pretty trivial to do, but it's the other guys that might cause me some trouble. So it's minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and then none, 1, 2, yada, yada, yada. All right? And then what I did was I, I factored it out. By the way, in both the top and the bottom, so here and here, I factored that on both sides. Right? Then I divided it away. That's all I did. I divide away. So if you divide that away, what would you be left off with? Well, you left off with this and this whole thing over here. All right? Relatively simple at this point. Then what am I going to do? Well, I'll be honest with you. You know, some of the things they're, they're mentioning you should do is, one is you could just set x to be zero and you get a to be a half. That's really simple to do, by the way. And we haven't done that before. At least in this problem set, we haven't done it before. You get one half equals a. It's super simple, all right? Just by setting x equal to zero. Let me write that down for you. So now I know a is one half. Just by setting x to be zero. That's best out of here. What else do I do? I do what I've always done, and I just simply multiply both sides by the LCD. That's all I do. And if you do that, what do you come up with? You get this statement over here. Now I'm going to multiply it out. And what do you get? Let's write this down. It's not easy, though. I'm not suggesting it is easy. You're going to get 1 plus 2bx plus 2cx squared. Oh, I got another one, right? Plus 2dx cubed plus 2ex4. This goes on forever, by the way. I don't want to go on forever, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Let's hope for the best. Let's do this one now. What do you get? We're well, going to get minus three halves of an x squared. Then what are you going to get? You're going to get minus 3b x cubed. All right. Let's keep going. What's next one you're going to get? You get a fourth power, right? So what do you get there? Minus 3c x4. And again, this goes on forever. Put all dots there. Now I got to do this x cubed business, right? So you can get minus a half of an x cubed. All right. And then you're going to get what? minus bx to the fourth power. All right. That goes on forever, too. All right. We got some troubles over here, don't we? And I'm looking at it, and I think the troubles aren't big, but I'm getting um, the 2b has to be minus 4. Let me write that down for you. The 2b has to be minus 4. Well, that's pretty simple. What do you get over there? b equals minus 2. I'm going to highlight that for you. By the way, the a is a half. I should highlight that too. I'm going to start to erase stuff that I'm not going to, I talked over before. And I'll just highlight it again. So let me just tell you what we're highlighting here. That was easy. And now we're equating coefficients. All right, we've got the b to me minus 2. All right? I'm going to erase this work over here. It's pretty simple. And I want to go to the next step. Well, it's going to be this squares. There are no squares. What does it mean? 2c minus 3 halves has to be 0. So 2c is equal to 3 halves, or c is equal to 3 quarters. 
Let me highlight that for you. It's right here. All right? I'm going to erase it because I don't really need any more. And again, some people do this in their head. I can't do it in my head. I have to write things down. All right, let, let's go for the D now. All right, so what do I know? It's a cube, right? So 2D minus 3B minus 1 half has got to be the 2. We're equating coefficients. Do I know what B is? It's minus 2. So you get 2D plus 6 minus 1 half is equal to 2. I can multiply both sides by 2. You get 4D plus 12 minus 1 equals 4. 4D equals, let's see, 12 minus 1 is 11. To get 11 from 4, you're going to get minus 7. So D equals minus 7 quarters. Let's see if we got that. And let's go for the E now. All right, let's see if we can do that. I'm going to erase some of the work too. And what do I know about that? There is no fourth degree term. So the coefficients um, on the fourth degree term have to sum to zero. So let's write this down. 2A minus 3C minus B has got to be zero. I don't know what A is. No idea. What's C? Three quarters, right? So you get minus nine quarters here. And what's B minus two? That equals zero. I'm multiply both sides by four. That's going to be, uh, let's see, 8A minus 9 minus 8 equals 0. So 8E is 17. Did I do that right? Let me see it. 2E minus 3C. You know what? I think I made a mistake somewhere. 2E minus 3C minus B equals 0. And let's see if I did the next thing right. Three C's minus nine quarters. Oh, it's plus, I'm sorry. There's my error. So what do you get over here? 8 E equals one, where E is equal to one eighth. All right? Now granted, you might be confused what you want to do over here, but what I want to do over here is I want to write this down. So it says write what down? I want to write this down. And I got all the information I need to do that, all right? For, for the number of terms I want, by the way. So I'm going to start to erase, you know, the old business over here. I don't need this anymore. I need to write my answer down now. I'm getting rid of the disturbing things over here. And let's write this down. What's A? Well, A is one half, right? What's B? Whoops, I keep doing that, don't I? Assuming when I should just read minus 2, x minus 2. What's C? 3 quarters. That's going to be x minus 1. I'm putting these things down, by the way. And now it's going to be minus 7 quarters plus E. And what's E? It's 1 eighth. Um, and that's going to be x. All right? And by the way, this is yada, 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 yada. It goes on forever. Let's get out the, uh, the key. I'm going to look at it one term at a time. Do they have 1 half x minus 3? Yep. Do they have minus 2 x minus 2? Yep. Do they have 3 uh, quarters x minus 1? Yep. Minus 7 quarters? Yep. And 1 eighth of an x? Yeah, they do. And it goes on forever, by the way. They just want you to get five terms. That brings us to the end of the problem set, which is good news. Uh, they're kind of tedious problems over here. My name is Ron Bannon. If you see something uh, that you believe is amiss, there's an error, typo, whatever, please feel free to reach out to me, and I'd be much appreciative if I hear something that actually improves the document. I would love to hear from you. Thank you.